So here we are. So I just bought the drop axle off this truck. And the owner was actually nice enough to just let me take the truck home and uh, remove it myself instead of having to pay a bunch of shop fees and stuff like that. So this drop axle has been sitting on this truck for quite a while and none of the bolts wanted to come loose so we have to actually cut them all off. Some of them were lucky enough to come off but we actually had to remove, cut them off most of them. All right, now we got this thing out. Let's put it on my Kenworth. All right, guys. So here we are installing this drop axle here on my truck. Got the front aired up. So what I did over here, took out the three bolts that holds this carrier and just uh, strapped it up higher. So the drive shaft actually sits a little bit higher so we could clear it. So got it jacked up the rear end pretty high enough and we got her slid in not too bad while we drill them holes since we don't have a magnet press two by four just like that went right through a little bit more So here we actually got to drill a uh, three and a quarter inch hole. This is going to be for the brake line that runs to the chamber. All right, there you go. Drop axle is all bolted on. We got the brand new shocks. All the holes drilled and bolted. Wheels polished. pressure regulators to control the drop axle it's got two wires that run to the cab for a switch to run the drop axle got the switch right here there we go drop axle is on still looking good spaced them out evenly with the drive I gotta throw some nice fenders on the drop axle. Finish off the look. But there you go, guys. Hope you guys like, subscribe, comment.